Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Capricorn. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. And welcome back to the Evolving Spirit. Shout out to the beautiful Soul Tribe, Gang Gang. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support. Your love never goes unnoticed here on this platform. And welcome, goats, to the ones that are new here. It's a pleasure to have you as well. Definitely, if today's reading fulfills your spirit or resonates for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, Capricorns. We would love for you all to be here as well, a part of our soul family. And definitely be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on this platform for all Zodiac sign readings, all right? And I also go live for love live stream questions here on this platform, which is normally on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and some Saturdays, all right? But that is also available if you would love to ask Tarot some questions. It's only $15.55, all right? So definitely adjust your notification bell, and I look forward to meeting you all, all right, Cappies? So no further ado, we're going to dive right on to some tarot here this week we're first focusing in on the kipper deck this week to see what the energies are surrounding at this time and then of course we're going to clarify with some tarot and then we'll close out by using my raw tarot index cards here okay and shout out to the only fans page i appreciate you all as well definitely if you're new here and you will love more content and energy check-in is what I do for all the zodiac signs that I post here on YouTube, Capricorns. You get the first to be able to check in on their energy and to see what to expect in the readings before I actually post them here on YouTube. So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, come on over to the OnlyFans page. We would love to have you there. All right, so no further ado, let's dive in, goats. Let's see what we have here for you. Wow, we have courthouse here, okay? So there could be a situation or a circumstance here that involves for you to attend a court session here or someone here may be having to uh, make some differences here within a legal matter, all right? Someone here could be in a situation where they're having to go to court, all right? Now, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. I am not a lawyer or a defensive court order lawyer, okay? This is just the energy that's coming out of your reading here today, all right? But as I mentioned, whatever may take place within the government institutions here uh, with 23 that breaks down to the number five, this is going to allow a situation here to change or there could be a sudden change event because of what takes place here in court, okay? So that could be very significant for someone here as well. Wow. So let's dive a little deeper here. Let's see what is this taking place in the courthouse here. The mature woman. Okay. So there could be a situation where you and a mature woman could be um, either going to court to establish a marriage together or even going to court to get things in order when it comes to for some of you all separating from your partner here, um, take it how it resonates there for you. But someone here is recognizing a situation for what it is. And this has allowed this person to mature within their choices that they're making here. Okay. Wow. So let's see what else here, how this is all tied in together. Here goes before we dive into tarot. Wow. The family room. Okay. So this is definitely a situation here that is taking place within the home within the house environment here, okay, with the family card here, okay, there may be something that needs to be addressed here or talked about here within the family here that someone may not be sharing with the other. I feel like some of you all may find out a particular situation here that causes you to question this situation or this person here as well. So let's see exactly what this here is. Let's see what's going on in court here. And let's also see what's going on within the family room here. All right. Wow, Capricorn. Stephanie, if the reading so far is resonating for you, again, hit that like button, loves. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Let's get some clarification here out on the table. Let's clarify the courthouse. Guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light. Why do we have here the courthouse for Capricorn? What's going on in the courthouse here for Capricorn placements, please? What's going on here with the courthouse? 
Show me this person's energy here, please. Clarify courthouse, please. Wow, we have Sagittarius energy here, okay? Some of y'all, this person here, Capricorn, could be a Sagittarius that is having to go to court for a situation or a circumstance here, or that could be a fire sign, a Leo, or an Aries here, but particularly Sagittarius energy here. So I feel like the courthouse indicating the temperance here is going to be able to bring peace or balance to a situation here. So whatever maybe was off balance in this household here, Okay, for family room and with this person here, this could have been the energy that you are exchanging energies with, rather if it's a mature woman or a mature man, okay? But I feel like this situation that happens in court is going to allow balance and peace within this household here, okay? Yeah, Spirit said that's the truth. We got the Ace of Swords here, all right? This could also be an air sign here for you Capricorns, a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. Okay, so let's clarify what this Ace of Swords here is. I just have to be a little curious here and see what this exactly is. Clarify the Ace of Swords here for the goats, please. Why do we have the Ace of Swords? Wow, the Chariot. So whoever this person here was, Capricorns, once they got the truth about a situation or the truth about what happened in this household here, this person hauled ass. This person did not wait around. This could be a counselor here for some of you all as well, or again, an air sign here or a fire sign here. But someone was not sticking around for what was not being truthful and authentic here. Okay, I feel like some of you all may have called this person out, Capricorns, on their ass for this here. And because of this, you may have decided yourself to remove yourself from this relationship here or situation. Okay, let's clarify the family room. I'm curious to see what's going on here with the family room here so far here. Wow. Definitely, if you like it, definitely like, like, like. Share this content with who needs to hear this message here because something is... Has took place or is going on within this household here. Yeah. I can't make it up. We got the two of pentacles here. Someone was juggling. All right. Either someone was just busy and had multiple things on their plate. So they was trying to juggle their family, their love life, and their career. Others of you all, this person was literally dipping and dabbing in other energies with other people. And could have put you in a third party situation here. That's what I'm also picking up here as well. All right, within the family here. Wow. So let's see exactly what they were juggling here. Let's clarify that two of Pentacles energy here. A secret and a marriage. Wow. We got the hard funds here and we have the moon card here. So this is definitely someone here that was not being honest about a marriage here. Because you got the marriage card, the hard fun, you got the family room and you got the moon card. Yeah, somebody was definitely having secrets about an affair here with this mature woman. And you may be the position of this mature woman or mature man to mature the fuck up from this bullshit here and come to realization that you're not going to take advantage of me and continue to think that you can keep secrets from me when it comes to other relations that this person was having with other people. All right. Wow. Oh, my goodness, ghost. Let's close out and use my raw tarot index cards here. Let's see what this person here wants to say. Let's see what was being hidden here in this situation here. Wow. Yeah, look at that. I will not put you in this again, okay? So someone here wants to not put you in this situation that they now are aware of that they did, okay? So this is someone here that wants to try to reconcile with you, even though that this has took place here, okay? Yeah, I can't make it up. You are the best, okay? Someone sees you as the best here in their eyes, yeah, look at that. Look at this. Someone is sneaking around. And then you have the moon cards here. And then you have. <laughs> wow. And then you have someone is sneaking around the moon card. And then I will not put you in this again. All right. So this is definitely giving me third party vibes here. OK, that's just confirmation for me, which is I felt this energy when that moon card and that two of pentacles came out. 
I was like, okay, yeah, this is what this here is, okay? And this is someone that looks like they want to come in and admit their wrong here to you, okay? Yeah, I miss your lips here, okay, Capricorn? This person missed your lips. Your lips may be very significant here. This person here may be in a situation where they've always loved your lips or they always complimented your lips here, so they're missing them at this time. And then, wow, we have they all knew about it. And then we have, you made me do it, okay? So this person is like, you made me do it, Capricorn. You may have told this person, look, if that's who you want to be with, then you go be with that person. And that person is being sarcastic, I kind of feel like, and is saying that you made them do it, okay? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. I went back to my past lover. They all knew about it. So all these people, this could be outside influencers that tried to intervene with the relationship or the connection you had here with this person. But this is what happened and what this person realized is that they went back to their past. That even more confirms the moon card, the Harfun card, and the two of pentacles. As I mentioned, this was definitely a third party situation here for some of you all that you've gotten now clarity about. And this reading definitely here is confirmation of that clarity, okay? Wow, I do not expect that to have resonated with everyone. I know everyone is not dealing with a third party situation. So definitely take here what resonates for you goats and leave here on the table what doesn't, okay? I appreciate each and every one of you all for your love and support. Again, shout out to the Soul Tribe. I appreciate you and the OnlyFans page. Again, if you would love to come over to the OnlyFans page, it's only $5.55. You get everyday daily content on the energy check-ins again for all the zodiac signs that I post here on YouTube with using my raw tarot index cards. And I am back now available for personal readings. Yes, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, Cappies, all my email detail information as well is down below. Thank each and every one of you all. And I look forward, Cappy, to seeing where the energy progresses or goes here for you. All right. Thank you so much, goats. I love you. Mwah. Bye-bye.